Hey guys, Laura here from Operation Cetacean. We've just arrived in, um, we're up at the top of Berry Head at the moment, but we're about to head down to the quarry. And you can see just down there where we're about to be heading. And we're gonna be taking some porpoise photos, hopefully. We're thinking it's probably the right time of day because I think at the moment I need to double check to be sure, but it's um, falling in low tide, so we should have some nice photo opportunities and the weather's really nice and calm and the water's really nice and calm so hopefully i'll check in with you in a bit once we're down there We're just down on the quarry taking some photos and we're here for a couple of seconds and we've got probably about six maybe eight porpoises feeding it's literally the perfect day for it and there's a little calf swimming with its mum um, we're gonna try and share some photographs later on but it is literally perfect porpoise weather today how amazing is that So one of the main questions that I get as someone who studies cetaceans and mainly porpoises is how can you tell the difference between a porpoise and a dolphin? So the main thing you want to be looking for when you're out looking for porpoises and dolphins is porpoises generally are very small and their dorsal fins are small, dumpy and triangular whereas a dolphin will mo more likely be long and sweeping, kind of like a scythe. So this is one of the main things you want to look for. But also porpoises are quite shy animals, they don't really travel in groups, they'll feed alongside each other but they're not, they're not majorly social, they won't do acrobatics unless they're chasing after food. So if you see cetaceans engaging in a lot of like aerobic and kind of acrobatic activities that's more likely going to be dolphins and if they're traveling in groups closely and socially then you're going to be looking at dolphins but right now we're out in nature and we're watching amazing porpoises feeding in our local area. So that's basically all you need to know if you're looking for porpoises and dolphins and that's how you can tell the difference. So lots of porpoises today, lots of action and now the inevitable, back up the hill.